よくやった若い海兵お前が命を懸けて生み出した勇気ある数秒は顔悪くか世界の運命を大きく変えた Hey, hey, my dear pirates, you are on channel Straw Hats One Piece Theories, and in today's video, we're going to talk about Shanks and how he could have seen the future with his mighty advanced observation hockey. Since Shanks revealed his abilities in his fight against Kid, it was clear that Shanks is very powerful, but that still wasn't enough power in many people's eyes. For many fans, Shanks may have revealed a secret that answers many questions that are still being asked today. Open about the One Piece universe. Shanks has shown to have a vision of the future in a very advanced way, being far superior to everyone we have seen using his advanced observation hockey. And because of that, they theorize that Shanks can see the future in a way never seen before and that can answer all the movements of the leader of the Red Hair Pirate. Did Shanks see Luffy's future and why did he trust him with his straw hat? Is Shanks able to predict the movements of the world government and so he is always on the lookout in case he needs to act? Is it for this reason that Shanks has been preventing major events from happening, like preventing Kaido from going to Marineford or Aramaki taking power from Wano, precisely to avoid a bigger catastrophe or who knows about Luffy's death during his journey as the new Joy Boy? Well, we are going to analyze all this in today's video. So if you want to be a pirate king like me and achieve eternal glory, Go ahead and press the like button with all the power of your devil fruit. And if you're new here, my dear sailor, already subscribe to the channel and don't forget to activate the notifications bell so you don't miss any new video, okay? Then join this crew that will dominate the entire Grand Line and the New World. Now, without further ado, let's get to this epic video. And well, my dear pirate, as the pirate who had to follow the legacy of the former King of Pirates, Gal D. Roger, Shanks has at all times, apparently, been trying to make the path the world is currently following follow a predetermined path. And because of that I made a video in the past theorizing about the possibility that Shanks already had information about the Void Century, about Joy Boy and Nika's fruit, about Laugh Tale and about Luffy's destiny as the new liberator of people. Shanks' movements always led me to believe that even though he is a very mysterious character he is still acting in a way that some destiny has to be fulfilled, it's as if he was the person that destiny had chosen to guide the next liberator of peoples to save the world. Even Roger told Rayleigh that the meeting between them was destined to happen, and because of that I came to believe that Roger also had some important information even before becoming the King of the Pirates and that was passed on to Shanks not only in a subjective way with the passage of Straw Hat but also in a literal way with information. I believe that Roger chose Shanks because he saw the potential in the boy, so much so that I believe that Roger was literally Shanks' master and mentor in his philosophy of life but also in his fighting skills such as mastering swords and hockey. But even more important than Shanks' fighting potential, the potential Roger saw in that boy was for a better future. Roger knew that his death would impact the world, that's why he made that epic speech before losing his life in front of everyone, and he knew that many pirates of various ages were there watching and because of that he needed to strengthen the spirit of freedom and piracy. And in the middle of that crowd was young Shanks. Roger, by releasing all the greed for his treasure to the world, awakened in many not only the dream of wealth and power, but also the dream of making changes in the world and that's what Shanks learned and absorbed in his journey with Roger and that's what Shanks did from that moment on. Well, there are several theories that say that Shanks was in fact the next Joy Boy or even that Roger wanted Ace to be that person and want to know my opinion? All these theories are valid, they all make sense, but as I said at the beginning, it seems that fate was already predetermined and Shanks was going to be part of it. And if Shanks really is chosen by fate to guide the next liberator of people, all those theories will be shattered. For if Shanks was predetermined to be the pirate who would start the change in this world, what would come later would only be a consequence of his actions and this is where his powerful ability to predict the future comes in. Shanks is always in the right place at the right time, Whenever things are about to get out of hand he appears, we saw that from the beginning of the anime, of course you can say that this is his character's role, and I agree. Shanks was created to be a very powerful character and because of that he can't appear all the time and if in fact it turns out that Shanks can predict the future this could be an even more plausible answer about how the character moves and acts within one piece. And above all, it would answer most of the questions we have. 
A great example is his match against Kaido and how he arrived so quickly at Marine Ford. Shanks may have purposely sent this message or let it leak out to impress all the admirals and the world government in such a way that his appearance would generate even more impact and everyone would get scared and stop the war. Kaido wanted to take advantage of the war to attack Whitebeard, but being so far away he would never get to Marine Ford so fast, Shanks was closer, so he may have seen that Kaido was moving and with that he foresee his scenarios. He could go first to face Kaido but Luffy would risk death or he would spread the information that he was facing Kaido when in fact he was already close to Marine Ford because he knew about Ace's future. At all times Shanks tried to warn about how Ace was in danger when trying to face Blackbeard, he even tried to talk to Whitebeard who did not heed his requests to stop Ace's suicidal journey. So knowing that the collapse was about to happen, he had to make a choice, face Kaido and risk losing Luffy, who is the person he has to guide to save the world, or create a narrative that he was far away, when in fact he was close to arrive at just the right moment. Of course, this ended up costing the lives of Whitebeard and Ace, but Shanks at all times tried to prevent this from happening and had to choose to save his protege, so much so that he arrives at the exact moment of Ace's death and to save Luffy, this made everyone impressed with the fact that the news said that Shanks was fighting Kaido and suddenly he appears there in Marine Ford challenging everyone. We also have his intervention at the exact moment that Aramaki attacked Wano Country just when Kaido and Big Mom were defeated and Luffy and the others were completely exhausted. At that moment Aramaki could bring big problems and who knows even take the power of the island of Wano to the world government, but Shanks once again appeared at the exact moment to prevent Aramaki from fulfilling his objective. Shanks even mentions how cowardly they would be to do that under the circumstances. What if it was all fear in the new generation? And speaking of the new generation, we can't forget about Luffy. At all times it seems that Shanks is watching Luffy, accompanying him. And whenever it seems like he's too far away from his protege, he's actually very close. And recently he could have gone to visit him but he preferred not to intervene too much in his journey than he had already done, preventing Aramaki from attacking him unawares, it turns out that this has been happening since the beginning of the anime. There are moments when it seems that Shanks doesn't interfere because he knows that Luffy can do it alone or count on his friends to face his journey, and when he really needs it, then Shanks appears to act and these moments are so crucial that it seems that Shanks he is always so close that it seems that he is seeing Luffy inside a crystal ball at all times and that could indeed be his true power. And maybe that's the answer to all these questions and also why Shanks doesn't attack the world government directly. In a past video I commented on how Shanks and Luffy's journey was similar to Harry Potter and Dumbledore's journey, because even though Dumbledore knew from the beginning what Luffy's destiny was, he still appeared in key moments to help, because even destiny being something predetermined, the paths that will lead to that destination often have multiple choices that can facilitate or hinder the journey of the hero in question and all those who are involved in this journey. But as I mentioned in other videos, if Shanks is a character who is very powerful and who always shows up to help at specific times, well, he could be that type of character who will make the ultimate sacrifice to help the hero. So at all times Shanks is seeing the future to avoid Luffy's death at the same time that he needs to prevent himself from dying so that he can help Luffy when he needs it, this is the fate of many mentors in anime and cinema, as well as it was Dumbledore's destiny I mentioned a little while ago. Perhaps Shanks already knows the date of his death or even knows that Luffy will win in the end, but before those moments can happen, he needs to keep making his choices as they affect the fate and future of the world. But now I want to know your opinion about everything we commented here today. Do you believe that Shanks used his hockey to see Luffy's future and destiny? Is this the ultimate answer to why Shanks hasn't faced the world government and Im Sama all these years? But of course, if you made it this far it's because you like the content, so it doesn't hurt to subscribe to our channel and become one more member of our fleet, my dear sailor. And of course, do not forget to press the like button that helps a lot in spreading the video and the channel, so help us to become the largest fleet of pirates here on YouTube, okay? A big hug for everyone, and until the next video.